Have you seen my grade? Hello everyone, this is JV back again and in this vlog we are going to do another episode of What's Your Pre-Med? So in this video, we are going to feature an uncommon pre-med course just because only few schools offer it. But people tell me that it's actually a good pre-med course and we are going to know more about it from Kuya Pao as he talks about sports science as a pre-med. By the way, Kuya Pao was a member of the UP Pep Squad. Are you guys ready? Let's go! Five, six, seven, eight. Maybe again sila Are you guys ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. Hi Kuya Pao. Hi JV, how are you? Okay lang ikaw. Hello. Let's see. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> before we start, um introduce yourself muna. Okay, hi everyone. I'm Paolo Pangilinan. Uh, I'm a first year medical student at St. Luke's Medical Center, WHQM. Okay, so we are now going to start with what's your pre med question. So, basic question, Kuya. What's your pre med and saan ka nag pre med? Hey, my pre med course is Bachelor of Sports Science, uh, College of Human Kinetics at the University of the Philippines, Diliman. So, what's the most common track for your course after graduation? Well, sports science speaks for itself. So, anything related to sports, some are involved in coaching, training, uh, some are involved in yung mga organizations that are involved in making uh, sporting events such as mga fun runs, or some are involved in the government such as Philippine Sports Commission. And yeah, aside from medicine, you know. Ah, okay. So, um, did you know that you were gonna go to med na nung nag sport yeah. science ka? Definitely, like ever since I was a kid, I already knew I was gonna either be a doctor or a Charlie's Angel. So, um, since the latter, <laughs> since the latter, <laughs> so ayun na yun na yung ano okay. At least, buti na naging doctor ka. Pero hopefully, maging Charlie's Angel ka rin soon ganyan. Fill in the cards, naman. So. Okay, that's great to hear. Okay, so why did you choose? sports science as a pre-med? Well, aside from that, uh, a lot of my teammates, a lot of my coaches and alumni from UP Pep Squad, I was a former varsity athlete kasi, are from sports science. It also had a lot of things to do with the subjects that are already in medicine, such as um, anatomy, physiology, although um, ano, on steroids na siya pagdating sa medicine, at least it gave me um, it put one one of my feet in uh, into the waters of medicine. So, yeah, okay. I'm very grateful for that, naman. That's great. Okay, so, eto generic question for ano mga med students. Why did you go to medicine? Well, sometimes kasi kapag wala ka na may isip na ibang gagawin, feeling mo yun na yung calling mo. So, <laughs> that's the case na for me sa so medicine. Also, I always have a sense of feeling na parang I need to be useful. And I think na doctors are at all times useful and then um, they're always a part of society. It's, it's almost as if they're a cultural universal in which you could find um, a doctor or something that represents it in every society, in every culture, at every time. So, yun. Yeah. So okay. I wanted to, so, so for short, bida bida ako. <laughs> Deserve, ganyan. Okay, so eto, um, how did SS naman help you sa pag-apply pa lang sa med school? Grades, dude. As in, they give us good grades in sports science. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, mm, compared to others, kunwari, pumasok ka as engineer. So actually, some students, di ba, engineering yung pre-med, nilang oh, weird. Yeah. Pero... No, no judgment there. <laughs> Joke lang. Um, <laughs> gusto ko talaga itaas yung kabay ko. Parang feeling ko nagiging problematic tayo. Well, anyway. No, yun, that's anyway. Um, feeling ko kasi, yun, be in sports science, usually naman, mababait sila magbigay as long as you put in the effort. And then, a lot of our activities involve um, dealing with group works and the like, which is, a, you know what? I expected that we would have less in medicine, but apparently we have so many groups, group works, especially in this time, diba? Na par we're forced uh, to do video calls and then uh, make presentations on multimedia crap, ganyan. Since ni tay maka 
uh, face-to-face um, learning. So, yeah, it helped me a lot. Yung um, teamwork stuff na natutunan ko sa sports science and the fact na mataas sila magbigay ng grades. Okay. Very informative. So, here, let's since we were talking about the perks of being a sports science major na, what are the advantages of having sports science as a pre-med course? Since a sports science, and dami mong ginagawa na outside of classroom, kasi parang it's so hard to teach um, sports stuff when you're confined in the four corners of the classroom. So uh, there are a lot of electives that, uh, and as well as um, practical stuff that would help you get through med uh, with much more baon. Ikang for example, we have first aid certification in uh, one of our subjects, which unfortunately I think is na. Um We have biomechanics, anatomy, physiology. So, yeah. Okay, so can you think of some of the disadvantages rin of SS as a pre-med? Siguro? Well, because sports science, diba, as in, it's been an ancient concept. Naman, diba, na parang people think who, if you're somewhat related to uh, sports or anything that you're academically uh, challenged. Ganyan. So, also in UP, diba? would you agree with me, JV, na parang um, CHK students and varsity athletes have to prove themselves um, much more so than regular UP students? Kasi, syempre, diba? um there's a varsity jock stereotype na parang like they only go to class uh, to impress the profs by their looks, by their muscles and stuff. So parang yeah, there's an ongoing challenge of me trying to prove then, then I, when I was a student that I was um, just as good as any other UP student. So medyo yun, may discrimination lang. Yun yung pinakamalaking disadvantage for me na while studying, you will often feel na parang like you're being looked down upon by some professors, some, sometimes some sa classmates mo, sometimes sa mga pusa sa AS, ganun. <laughs> so, very well said, Kuya Pao. So, since you've talked about those disadvantages na, how did you handle them when you were in med na? Have you seen my grades? Oh, shit. Joke lang. Oh. Ano? Whoa! <laughs> I stand. <laughs> I stand. I, I was able to handle them well naman sa medicine kasi all of us came from different backgrounds. Much like so sa mga GEs natin nung undergrad. So, parang... It, all of us had our different strengths which we which we could use to complement each other so that eventually we would be able to get through this easily and to enrich our lives kasi syempre if you come from diverse backgrounds there is a chance that you uh, can offer something to the table that people have not yet experienced and the other way around that's true okay um, so, eto, medyo may comparison tayo. So, how did you see yourself the mga first few months or weeks in med school as compared to the people from different pre-meds like psychology, bio, and the like? Ayun, yung ongoing train of thought ko doon, sana nag-physical therapy na lang ako. Kasi, just ko, yung mga physical therapy classmates natin, syempre, imba sa im, 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 <laughs> It's either, so, mga pharmacology, mga physical uh, therapy on courses no undergrad man as in yeah as in steamrolled through med- medical school talaga sila so uh but nonetheless uh syempre may mga stuff din naman sa CHK na I was glad I was able to offer such as syempre mga <laughs> magmumuha tuloy ang, ta- ang pangit ng mga offer ko dahil puro games ganun presentation <laughs> Wait, super ano yan, ha? Very, very helpful yan sa med, to be yeah, honest. Diba? Pag makapal mukha mo, tataas yung grade mo sa pre-med, sinasabi ko sa inyo. Kung pag gusto nyo mag-med, eto. If you're gonna take one advice from this, kapalan nyo yung mukha nyo sa pre-med sa mga incoming medical students. That's true. Okay, okay. So, eto, second to the last question, would you recommend sports science as a pre-med? I don't think it's for all, honestly. Kasi, mm. Mm, you really have to be interested in in whatever course you're taking. So, if you think na parang uh, you're more well-versed in other aspects, na, kasi parang you're, you're not missing out on a lot if you take sports science or any other um, pre-med course, if you are really involved in it. Kasi, for example, ikaw, um, you're political science, right? And then, syempre, ang dami kong natutunan sa'yo sa class. Oh, yeah! yeah. Stop it! <laughs> Uh, yeah, regarding yung regarding nga yung mga uh, uh, power struggles policies. So yeah, I think you must imp- 
important na thing is you should be sure na parang that's what you want to commit to for four years of your life. You're interested in learning about it, and eventually you're going to use that knowledge to um to transfer into the uh arts art that medicine is. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's great. Okay, so last question. Actually, it's not a question even. What's your message to aspiring medical students currently in your field na SS or to those na gusto lang talaga mag-med in the future? Well, yeah, focus on the subjects that are that you think you would find in medicine. So that's anatomy, physiology. Well, syempre they're gonna they're gonna look like um I don't know, they're gonna look like David compared to the Goliath that medicine is. But Yeah, just focus on getting good grades on those subjects because they will give you that parang extra push. Na parang oh my god, this is kind of meant for me, naman pala talaga. So why not, de diba? And sports science, eto. If it bo- all boils boils down to one advice lang, do well on your NMAT. Because and take it seriously. Because yung sports science subjects, parang isa siya sa mga low naman yun yung I I forgot to say that as a disadvantage actually mm-hmm. na yung sports science su- subjects have low transfer of, um, transfer of learning towards yung mga subjects na nasa NMAT so you have to work two times harder than your counterparts sa biology sa chemistry sa National Institute of Physics or kahit geology ganon may elbow ka talaga nila kapag di ka nag-aral ng mga electromagnetics ganyan optics and stuff na nasa NMAT so yeah practice especially math yun feeling ko stereotype din na bobo yung mga CHK students sa math which i have not been able to uh, prove otherwise so yeah do well in math do well in um quantitative reasoning sa in math kasi it's gonna put you into a good position when you apply for medical schools oh and by the way um nung in interview ako sa UP to ah, in UP parang they use uh, this yung I don't know what it's called, but they balance out yung mga GWAS na mga harder, what they perceive as harder courses versus yung mga easier courses. So, um, sports science students, yeah, have to score higher than their, um, per se, for example, biology counterparts, ganun, kasi they're not, the, the general weighted average ng mga two courses are not treated the same when you're applying for those school, schools. Thank you so much, Kuya Pa, for accepting our invitation for tonight very much welcome JV thank you for having me there you have it people and we want to thank Kuya Pao for being with us tonight and for talking about sports science as a pre-med so if you guys want more of this what's your pre-med series then I hope that you can click that subscribe button below and click that like button below and if you guys have questions concerns comments or anything at all please comment them down below Yes. There. And I hope to see you guys on our next What's Your Pre-Med episode. Bye, guys.